There's a lot of things that have become from board games to be part of our popular vocabulary, and one of those is, you sunk my battleship. Which actually isn't that big of a deal if you've ever played the game of Battleship. It's trying to get that little destroyer. Come on, where did they hide that thing? Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and I loved Battleship as a kid. The rich kids had electronic Battleship, but I had regular Battleship, and it was fun to guess where my opponent's ships were hidden. Maybe they were on G6, or E3, or I1, or 2B, or not 2B. It was fun to guess where the different ships were hidden, uh, but as time has gone by, you know, you basically put the ships out and then hope that the opponent doesn't find them. But if you like that idea, like me, maybe you're looking for something else. And so I thought I would present to you 10 alternatives to Battleship. First of all, if you like the hidden part of Battleship, where the opponent's ships are hidden, you're trying to figure out where they are, well, then I might recommend to you Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard is a game in which one person plays the dastardly criminal Mr. X. And everyone else are detectives, and they're watching Mr. X as he uses the subway, the bus, and taxis, and occasionally surfaces across the city of London. And you are trying to focus where is he and catch him. Really entertaining game. And a very similar game along that line would be Specter Ops. Specter Ops is a game in which one person is going into an enemy base and trying to blow up different objectives in that base, and everyone else is patrolling the base and figuring out where exactly this guy is running around. It's really entertaining as one person is trying to hide and they have to stress from hiding and the other people are trying to use logic to figure out where exactly this hidden person is. There's also a game called Not Alone. In Not Alone, a bunch of people land on the planet, but you're not alone. There's an alien there also. And it's almost like a game of hide and seek as all the different players in the game are going to different locations trying to get things so that they can signal a ship to come down and rescue them while the alien is hunting them down. They're not alone. Another game that's very similar is Escape from the Aliens in Outer Space. This is a game in which each player has a little sheet of paper and on it you are keeping track of how you move on this grid. You're on a spaceship. Some players are aliens. Some players are humans. The humans are trying to get off the ship. The alien players are trying to find the humans. You announce where you are, but occasionally you can lie, hoping that the aliens don't catch the humans, and you're also quite not sure who everybody is. If you like the two-player back and forth part of Battleship, Fugitive might be a game you enjoy. Fugitive is one person's a fugitive. The other person is that agent who's coming after them, just like the movie The Fugitive. And so as the fugitive is running, they have some cards, and they are hiding in a different number card, and the agent is trying to figure out which card that person is hiding in. And they have to keep one leap always ahead of the agent. Uh, it's a pretty hard game for both players, but also very little simple back and forth fugitive. Or maybe you want to go back to an old classic like Stop Thief. Instead of playing against the other players, you're playing against a computer. Now, Stop Thief has just been updated. It used to come with a cool electronic device. Now it uses your phone as a device, and you'll hear sounds and movements, and all the players are running around trying to catch this thief before the other players. The new reprint is incredibly well done. You definitely want to check that one out. Maybe when you're playing Battleship, you like that whole grid aspect. A1, A2, A3, up to A10, 100 pieces on the grid. Well, a very similar game is called Telepathy Magic Mines. In Telepathy Magic Mines, you have these two grids, you and your opponent, and you're going to pick a spot in the grid, and then you ask your opponent questions about their grid, trying to figure out what one spot is on their grid, using deduction back and forth. And they've even made a kid's version of this, and it's very fun. It has that same similar feel to Battleship. Maybe the part of the reason you like Battleship is because you like to have spaceships attacking other people's spaceships. Did I say spaceships? Because I meant ships in the water, but I meant spaceships for my alternative, which is Star Realms. Star Realms is a deck building game in which you have your own little ships that you're placing out there. They're taking pot shots at your opponent's ships and trying to blow them up. It's a lot of fun. Can play more than two players, but works best with two. And then we have, if you like that two player back and forth, this is a game that has nothing to do with ships, but has that same feel, and that would be Raptor. In Raptor, one person is controlling a mama raptor and a bunch of baby raptor, and the other person is controlling scientists, trying to capture these raptors. And so you're moving around the board, and the scientists are trying to capture the raptors, and the raptors are running, and the big mama raptor is occasionally eating a scientist or two. Really cool pieces, and that fun 
back and forth feeling that Battleship does. But if you want the one game to replace Battleship, the one game that completely makes it obsolete, you want to play Captain Sonar or Sonar. They're both the same game, but Sonar can go to two or four players while Captain Sonar works best with eight. This is where there's a team of people against another team of people and you're on submarines and you are moving and telling your opponents where you're moving, but they don't see exactly. You'll say, I'm moving north, and they're like, where did he start? And they're trying to figure it out, and you're trying to get into position to shoot the other person with torpedoes, and sonar is the same thing, but it could just be one verse one or two verse two. This game is phenomenally fun, and while it's in print, which it is right now, there's no reason to ever play Battleship again. Those are my top 10 games that are better or alternatives to Battleship. Tell me what yours are in the comments. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. And you've been watching The Dice Tower.